Good day, folks. Lucky to be with you. Great to study God's Word together. Uh, we're doing devotional, so this is not necessarily a theological study, but let me tell you, this is enough to take you and me through this day and encourages us. Listen to what it says again. We're in Ephesians chapter 1. And we're going slow because there's so much in it. It speaks about Christ. It says that power is like the working of His mighty strength. I can just see the muscle of Jesus here, the mighty strength of Jesus. And it says, which He exerted in Christ. In other words, all the power that He that he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead then he seated him at the right hand uh, listen to where God is listen to where Jesus is seated at the right hand in the heavenly realms far again he's making big of Jesus here Jesus is far above all rule far above all authority far above all power far above all dominion and every title that can be given not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. The writer here is making much of Jesus. And that's, the, that's the, the Lord that you and I serve. Far above anything that we can imagine. Name, power, dominion, rule, rulers. There is nothing that even is equal to the Lord Jesus Christ. And then God says, And God placed all things under His feet. And appointed him to be the head. See, that's Christ that we serve, folks. Everything. He is above everything. Everything is under his feet. And then he is appointed to be the head over everything in the church. You see, what, what the writer is saying to you is, is, remember, the head of the church is not your pastor. The head of church is not your elders. The head of the church is the Lord Jesus Christ. It is all under Him, and He is the head. Don't ever forget that. He is the head. He says, which is His body. We, His church, are under Him, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we serve Him such a mighty, great, wonderful, powerful Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything is under Him. The fullness of Him who fills everything in every way. So now, here's Jesus. And the fullness of him, the writer says, fills you and me, says, fills everything in every way. He is all over, omnipresent, all over. In you, in the world, he fills everything. That's who Jesus is. You see, he's big. He's big. He's bigger than your problem. He's bigger than the issues you face. He's bigger than your lack. He's bigger than anything you and I can think of. And we have him to hold on to today. Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. You are described here as, 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 as so powerful, so mighty, so glorious, so wonderful. There's no ruler. There's no authority. There's no principality. There's no power. There is nothing that can be compared with you. Everything is under you, even the church. We are under you the head of the church and then that great power with that you fill our lives to live a life that honors you and is glory uh, glorifying to you bless us today in jesus name amen